All right, so just uh, about a half hour ago, I had a nice little surprise show up at the door. Um, slowly but surely, I've been building my ultimate rig. Uh, as far as the actual amp goes, I've had that for a while. Um, there's nothing I've wanted to add to it. Uh, but I did have one empty rack space, and can't have that. So I've been thinking a lot about what I wanted to put in there. Um, but uh, ultimately, I realized that I could use some light. Um, and uh, most of the lights are like, you know, those power conditioners. And, you know, there's arguments on both sides whether power conditioners are good, whether they're bad, whether they do anything at all. I don't really feel that I need one, so I just wanted a light. So I kind of hunted one down that I thought was really cool. And uh, it came in, finally. Uh, I looked for this thing for probably about a couple months. I'm not even sure if they make them anymore. They're kind of hard to get. Um, so, it's, as you can see, this white bar that is now right in the middle of my, um, my rack here. And, uh, it's not bolted in yet. Um, I don't actually have bolts for it yet. But it means I get to pull it out. Um, you see it's not very large. Uh, it's not going to take up a lot of room in the back. Um... Got an XLR there, I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, an actually really neat feature is the uh, the AC adapter actually clips in. So, it's hard to do. So once you put it in, you turn it, and then it locks it in. Um, I mean, that's not a big concern, but at the same time, it's one less thing to worry about. You know, when something stops working, and a lot of times it's just your power cable has come undone. And, while this isn't really going to stop a show, it's neat to know that it's not going to happen. Um, it does pull uh, 500 milliamps, which is kind of high. Uh, my entire pedal board, which is um, seven pedals, including a wireless, uh, uh, multi-effects pedal, and a preamp, only pulls a little bit over double that. So it's odd that just a light would pull that much, but... Um, Plugging it directly into a power bar anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. So, let's see what it looks like. First I'll show, uh, it, it's got this neat little remote, and uh, that's how you can uh, you can control it. You can go on a keychain. Um, and uh, for my friends in Chalkface, uh, it does have uh, DMX. So it can be connected to our light show and it can be synchronized with that, which is really neat. Uh, that was that XLR cable that I had in the back. Um, I had this idea that maybe I could connect an XLR from the DI on my uh, preamp into the back of that and that maybe it would go to what I play, but I obviously don't know anything about DMX and XLR because that didn't work at all. So, let's turn it on. So it's a light, which is right, pretty cool, except it does a lot more than that. Let's kind of go through the colors. We got red, it's pretty intense. Uh, one of the neat things that it has, it also has, you can uh, control the brightness. It takes a lot of clicks, but slowly surely it goes down. But the whole point of this is to be bright, so we're gonna put it up as possible, as high as we possibly can. Uh, red, uh, let's see, we got cyan, green, magenta, blue, yellow, uh, the white, which I already showed you, and amber. So there's that. And then there's basically the neatest part. It's that. <laughs> so even without any DMX control will synchronize with the light show. I, uh, my bass amp can kind of do like rainbow colors and I haven't totally figured this out yet um, but there are ways to kind of change what colors are in there. There you go. I don't know how I did that but I did somehow. Uh, you can get them to be like really primary colors like that. Um, you can control the speed at which they change. I guess, somehow. 
And uh, then you can actually, again, control the brightness. And then, um, then there's the, uh, there's an auto setting that once you do that and you've got it uh, connected to the DMX, then uh, you've got your bass amp or guitar amp or whatever. Um, you've got it synchronized to your band's light show should you be using a DMX system. Uh, and that's that. This is a bass video that has absolutely nothing to do with really bass or sound or anything. This is just, it's just cool. And that's that. Thank you.